talk about tropes and shit. No, I did not <laughs> see this shit happening at all. And no type of trope, dude. This dude opened up, and I was like, "Excuse me, yeah. right?" Like first, Brian. Like before that, like when they when she said like she was pregnant, everybody kind of stopped. I was like, "Wait." Because I, like, I, I definitely wasn't like even like thinking it was gonna be the dad. I thought it was gonna be like somebody else, like and then she was just gonna like like leave or something like that. And then they have it followed up by like his dad just immediately saying it. I'm just like, wait, what the fuck just happened? Like everything happened so quick. It just, it was just completely. Yeah, my I mind. will say it like like for a show that you was kind of like comedic, like mostly like it got really serious when that part happened. Like that's yeah. what, that's why I know us too. Like this. Like this whole like this whole like thing, it just it got really serious. So mm-hmm. uh, I wasn't expecting it either. Yeah. So. Yeah. It just does a job so well of you know transitioning from seriousness to comedicness to whatever it kind of needs to be, and I think like you know everybody kind of said here like with what Paul you know did and, and came forward with is definitely something of like holy shit like how, how did we get here but it's so fitting to paul too of like you know everything else that we've learned about him <laughs> leading up to him of like apart from being a badass swordsman and stuff and we, we did get to learn a little bit more about his swordsmanship and level later on in this episode but oh man i was dying when he's just sitting there and he just has this you know like no emotional face he's just like it's mine and everybody just kind of like slow turns to him like yeah what <laughs> what the fuck like, who and then even when rudy was trying to like you know make his mom feel better for what had happened and he creates like the whole elaborate backstory it was just like yeah you know paul's gonna do what paul's gonna do like we're here now <laughs> these these are my brothers and sisters like you know he's trying to help his mom just get over like the the horridness of the situation at the end well, oh no i don't think rudy... it was helping the mom it was all about helping out uh lilia like the maid Oh yeah, 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 yeah that's true. Yeah. But, yeah, and the thing is, like Rudy had no clue what was happening either. Like he he was completely blown away as like when that announcement was as well. Yeah, I mean it's oh, crazy man. though because like how everything's so connected. Like she's the maid, but she was also childhood Paul's, friends. Like yeah. childhood mm-hmm. friend. Oh she yeah, instantly she broke was... the trope. Childhood friend never wins. Man, she. Well, she I did mean, a whole well, seduction she thing. She didn't dude. get married, I mean, but I guess she she won a got... war. Hey, but she didn't win. doesn't matter. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> that don't battle. matter. Apparently, that don't matter to her. So, yeah, yeah. Then basically, you have Rudy is just like, you know what? I, I just want brothers yeah. and sisters. Okay, well, like that's that's the other show. But like, of course, like his sibling's gonna be little sister is because it's always gonna be little sister. Yeah, but how awkward is that fucking household when you be, <laughs> you know, when you have basically like I'm, I'm just like, saying, uh, like um, yeah. at least for like for. The, the mom Zenith, like like for her to have a little sister, that that's that's pretty cool. But that's what is you always gotta have the little sister. But I mean, are they both sisters? Are they both girls? Do I think they're know? both girls. Okay, I think oh, so. Norn sure. and Ina. I'm pretty sure they're yeah. both girls. Like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, Norn sounds like a dude's name. That's fair. Um, yeah, that's fair. I'm horrible. I'm horrible I don't know. Names, so I have no idea. Yeah. Oh man, <laughs> but yeah, that was uh. I gotta say, if there's one thing I was disappointed about in this show was the section Ooh. where they showed off uh, Lilia, like uh, doing the the bathing scene. I expected more uh, top quality animation on Lilia, but I mean, uh, I, thought, I thought it was fine. Uh, you this know, this isn't I, really one of those uncensored shows, more. there. No, I expected a little bit more. You know, more, more curves, more more defining like HD graphics. <laughs> I mean, she's a, dude. She's a maid. When's she gonna find the time to work out? Bro, she used to uh, do swordsmanship with uh, with with Paul, right. like that. Who? I don't know, man. When you're Good over time. there just cleaning all the time, man, I don't think you have time anymore to you know. Dude, I don't know, man. Manual labor takes a lot out of you. You know, you gotta clean up the house, you gotta <laughs> scrub <laughs> the stone. <laughs> yeah. Dude, there's no washing machines. You gotta wash your shit by hand. Room. <laughs> you gotta draw a bath. You gotta carry this giant ass ba- uh, like wooden tub up the up to people's rooms and shit, bro. It's I don't know, man. Medieval times is harsh, bro. I thought the animation was fine. I don't know. I, don't, I yeah. have no idea what Kuz. Like, yeah. I don't know why I think it was bad or anything. Like, it was fine to me. It's... Yeah. No, you, I mean, guys if I was need, the... uh, you just need to up your standards. I mean, if I was in the house. <laughs> okay. I mean, what, what, what about uh, Ghislaine, the, the new character yeah, that we dude, learned Gislaine. of at the end of? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. She yeah. looks Ooh, she looks yeah, yeah, with her. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. <laughs> But you hey. know, it's it's not about her right now. It's about Lilia, all right? We'll, we'll learn more yeah, about yeah, her. Sorry, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll get there. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm getting ahead of myself. We'll yeah, yeah. Lilia's time, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, but I mean, it was perfectly fine. Uh, the uh, it was also really nice too, just to see like kind of like what the 
um like what the animation can be like in battle scenes like when when rudy was actually using like his uh oh, his, his magic, magic. Yeah. Dude, that, that looked really so well sick. Done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it was uh I, I thought that was really well done where he was basically just using like the he's just using wind and, like uh just the elements, the elements as well just yeah. to, like to like boost it like just to boost his skills i thought it was actually well, i thought that was really sick and then you actually got to see just like how top tier like his dad is when he basically just used like shoe well, i mean he's still it even though he's still <laughs> yeah kid, right <laughs> but like yeah Oh, yeah, dude, it was just so unfair. That like Rudy stood no chance, man. I feel kind of bad oh, for him. No. Yeah. He got knocked the yeah, fuck right. Ah, he, did, ah, he wanted ah. to stay there, stay with Sylphie. He got knocked the fuck out, and now he's just on a wagon to God knows where. <laughs> but he's with he's with a top tier waifu. So it I was gonna say, bad. yeah, he yeah, came out of hell too. He'll be bad, okay. But, yeah, yeah. So you know, damn well he can't do shit. Come on now, there's no way. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> No, we can't forget about uh, Roxy, you know, given her update of how now she's just the plaything of some other prince in some far off land. Oh, yeah. But I she mean. learned uh, king magic, though. So that's the key takeaway. Yeah. She's mm-hmm. at least growing. Yeah. She's at least like, you know, because, like, you know, for, like a long time, like she didn't think like she thought she like hit her ceiling. Yeah. And she actually just realized that she can actually can she can continue like uh, going up. Yeah, so that's actually good for her. Yeah, and it was nice that we got to learn a little bit more about, like, magic users, because when Rudy was saying, like, oh, how special, like, is King Magic? And I think it was Paul that said, like, oh, you know, you can only count, like, as many fingers as you have for users yeah. that can use this level of magic. Whether or not that's true, like, who knows? Maybe I'm just reading too much into it, but I thought it was a nice little, like, backdrop. Yeah. Wasn't it wasn't, like, six or something? Oh, I have no something idea. like that. Less than I, 10. Yeah, less than 10, <laughs> for sure. That's so, all I got. Is Rudy currently going to like a job? That's what I'm oh, assuming. Yeah. As far as we know, we don't know what kind of job okay. it's going to be. But okay, I want to say he's probably a mercenary for hire, based on how the uh, that one chick looked. So, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, no, there's probably going to be a time time skip. Okay. He's going to work on his swordsmanship. He's going to be a mercenary for hire because I'd imagine that's the only thing he can do during that time frame uh, or time period to to make as much money as possible. Since the idea is that. Wants to pay for him and Sophie's uh, tuition for magic yep. school, right? So. And a part of that is they also kind of alluded to the green hair and red eyes thing a little bit, where, um, where his, his where his dad was was mentioning about how like you know are you actually like like planning on still was it still I, I can't remember if it's like still hanging out with her or like still like uh, you know bringing her around like I, mm. it kind of like made me think back to when they like early on when they said like avoid the green hair red eyes and a stone, yeah. and you know she had everything but the stone. But then it also made it seem like there's some questionable stuff that's uh, around her as well. Where yeah. I can't remember exactly what his dad said. Was it something like like, like don't hang around her or? Um, no, I don't, think, I don't think. I don't think. I don't think. I don't think. Yeah, but I got the vibes of it. I can't remember. No, I, don't, what I, don't, it was. I don't think he meant it in like a bad way in a sense. I, oh, think, you don't it think, meant, I think it's more of uh, it might be too much for him to handle. Uh, mm. To support him and her at the same time. Um, I don't know yeah, because don't like because Rudy's like already OP and he's young. Uh, like, it, it sounds like he's pretty special with, compared with, to with, with magic, but yeah, but even then, like as you saw, Paul still, Paul still kicked his ass. So yeah, but he'll get, <laughs> well, yeah, but Paul's also what top like basically like S tier. No, but like you mentioned, like he's still a child, right? He's still, I mean, I guess he has the body of a child, even though he he's mentally a forty year old. Um, right. but he's also like very small. You won't really be able to protect her when that time comes in a sense. And if you're going to be living on your own in like who knows where in a major city and you have to like defend you and Sylphie, who are both kids, uh, it might be too much for him. So I guess that's what he was referring to as Damn. you uh, don't rely on that as much. Um, I, I completely took it the other way. <laughs> right. I, I mean, it, it's cl- it's really possible, right? Because like I said, if you look at a person's hair, you can kind of tell they're a demon or elf or whatever race. Right. But I really think that it's just the fact that, you know, it looks like Rudy, like he's planning to kind of like run away for in a sense or to make sure to hold mm-hmm. on to her at all costs because that's what she wants as well. Right. But because he's still a child, uh, he's not yeah. ready for that yet. So that's probably why his dad took him on a uh, on this uh, side quest to be more uh, proficient with your sword ability. Yeah. Or learn yeah, more about the world. yeah. So do we think then the side quest is going to be like a means to just like a not like a time skip? type focus but just that when rudy gets back now sylphie will be like much more op in some way or have some evolution of her own or i would have more of i would have more of an idea like because but we have no idea even how long rudy's gonna be gone i know yeah (laughs) right like he just kind of got thrown into a wagon and he's just on his way 
and yeah. we don't know. Is this going to be his that. his Piccolo and Gohan arc where you know he's now just? <laughs> oh, I would have Well, I would take I would take this current <laughs> situation over Piccolo. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, but, yeah, yeah. Maybe I should have said like. Uh, even even not Ichi, knowing where Ichi I'm go going, and Yoruichi would be a better. <laughs> there you go. I don't know. Yeah, even, with the male to female relationship. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> not sure. I right. mean, but in this episode alone, they they bypass or they just flew by nine months or whatever. Or no, even more than that, maybe a year or two since uh, from the beginning now. of the episode. Yeah. So like, Wait, it wouldn't seven, surprise yeah. me. It wouldn't surprise me they use this as a time skip mechanism as well, right? Like, Dang. oh, he went out his job. He's finally back. His sisters grew up. He has enough money to go to a university now. Uh, because if they only have, like, 11 to 12 episodes, I'm, I'm assuming you're just going to keep like, well, skipping. Yeah, I, think, I think it's split, Korku. I think they're going to have at least, like, two seasons. So oh, okay. I well, think we're going to be fine for the pace. It. Like, it seems like no, they're right. actually pacing I, it. Because it, we're, we're still as childhood when it's, like, this is usually the part where you time skip to, like, high school age or something. I'm guessing oh, his. Yeah. Uh, I'm guessing like the childhood stuff is gonna be like these eleven episodes, and like at the end of it, it'll either be it'll either be him like joining that magic school or like leaving like the house in a sense. Hmm. I think. I don't know though. It, that, that that's just kind of like my guess. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see what else, what else was there. Um, I don't know if I have anything else really. I just want to say that. Lilia is the MVP because apparently she also knew of Rudy's uh, treasure relic. Yeah, oh, relic. Rudy, and then he didn't say any. He didn't yo, say anything. man. No, no snitching. <laughs> even, even when Lilia's a real like, one. Even when they, they kind of flashback about how Lilia is done like Weezy Pan. I just thought this kid was a creep for the. From oh the yeah, when he's she was. That's what she was, but <laughs> like, like, just like the look he would give, <laughs> like just like that, the whole <laughs> that whole thing. I thought it was just hilarious. Where it's just like he's rolling around with just like a pair of pegs and just like staring at her. Which is creepy as fuck. Also, uh, oh. um, I, I think like uh, like Rudy's conversation with uh, conversations with his dad, like either about women or just in general, are just they, they always seem just like top notch. Which I think it was also like a really good point where Rudy's just like, man, I can't. He's like, this guy's like scum, but he's also like, but I can't help but respect this guy. He's not scum. Mm-hmm. He's 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 more of a please He's kind of scum. He's kind of scum, sir. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's uh. He's, He's yeah, because like especially with that that like that story with like Lilia back in the day when they were childhood friends, eh, yeah, that's a pretty scum move. <laughs> nah, uh, it's, uh, they were you, friends. It was okay. Oh, oh yeah, okay. yeah, okay, sure. yeah. Hey, back in medieval times, I don't know. That maybe that's just how they rolled. You that's know? your excuse. Like, yeah. Right. If, if, yeah you know, if, if this man just if this man was didn't have the ability to just kill whoever he wanted in that household, I'm sure we'd have a different story with Lilia. Hey, if, if if kings were able to have as many wives as they want and you know or do they whatever do. they please, right? <laughs> Why can't a man of Paul's stature, right, do whatever he pleases? This man is a fucking legend, kiss. okay? Yeah, apparently, yeah. But apparently did he bro, die? Did she leave? No. All right. I mean, well, that's, that's, <laughs> Paul's, that's because Paul got the that's, goods. No, that's because Paul's of Rudy. Got the goods. That's because of Rudy. Rudy <laughs> saved that Rudy situation. Rudy saved that household. Yes, he did for his mm-hmm. own good. <laughs> No, he saved Lilia. I don't know if he saved the household. I'm pretty sure Paul is still fucked, but uh, you know, we'll, yeah, so we'll, save we'll the household it. basically. Yeah. Wait, who's gonna fuck with Paul? He's fine. I don't know, man. Women are scary, dude. I, have no idea. <laughs> I mean, so is that Shumpo shit. So, you know, when you're considered like a god, when you're considered like what god tier uh, swordsman, you know. But but Paul did have his head in shame the whole time for the first five ten minutes. So oh, good for him. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, again, women are scary. Okay, no matter yeah. how strong you are, may- maybe he just. Yeah, man. Just look at Chi Chi. Yeah, bro. Even Chichi Goku Chichi. can't. Even yeah, Goku he... can't control that woman. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, dude. Like, Gohan could have been a prodigy, but Chi Chi had a say in it. So. Yeah. God. Mm-hmm. Terrible. That, 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 okay. <laughs> I, I like I like Paul's wife way more than Chi Chi. Chi Chi held back what could have been greatness. Sure, sure. For books. <laughs> okay. So, anyway, I'm I done. Think, we're going to go off track. For, <laughs> I think we're good for Mushoku Tensei. So yes, yes. we'll leave it for next week. Hopefully get the same good. reaction no, as we did for this one. Dude, so this oh, show dude. is so good. So good. <laughs> Every Sunday, I would... Yep. Oh, let's go. Yep. <laughs> I woke up too early today. It wasn't right. It wasn't ready for me. Oh. <laughs> uh, was, right. Oh, fuck. Love the show. All right, so that's yep. it for Mushoku Tensei.